Well, it's a beautiful day, and it's the final day of Detroit City Fest, and there's still plenty of time to enjoy. Yeah, lots of fun stuff going on. Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live. Good morning, Kim. Hope you're doing well out there. You're smiling. Well, yeah, we're getting ready to work out, though, so <laughs> this smile could quickly turn into a frown. <laughs> but no, 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 we're going to have fun with uh, Punk Fitness Detroit here, and we're joined by the founder of Punk Fitness Detroit, Julie Hecker. Julie, how are you doing this morning? I am fabulous. I want to thank these ladies for getting up not only early this morning, but also getting up, looking great, and working out early this morning. So, Julie, let me ask you, first of all, what is Punk Fitness Detroit? Punk Fitness Detroit is an unconventional, out-of-the-box fitness class where uh, at least a third of the music is local, original Detroit bands. And you guys are down here for City Fest, and what are you guys going to be doing down here? This is the last day for City Fest, but you guys have been down here for the entire time. But tell us, what exactly are you guys going to be doing down here with, I understand, kids? Oh, we're trying to entertain the kids, the families, the grandmas, the aunts, everybody that's here. We're getting them up. They're tumbling, jumping, and playing. we got parachutes, jump ropes, hula hoops, rubber-resistive tubing. We're just trying to keep people moving and showing them that fitness can be fun. And why is it so important for you guys to really work with a lot of kids that are also out here? Because I understand you guys are going to be, like, really blasting the music and having a good time out here. I'll tell you, kids give the grown-ups energy. So a lot of times you get to hula hoop, they're working, we're working, it, and our kids really need to exercise a bit more. And tell us, what are some of the things that people can do at home? Because I understand you have this little, um, this, um, what do you call it, a stretch Ru band? Rubber resistive tubing and rubber bands, which you can pick up at any retail store, but it doesn't cost anything really. You can go to a dollar store, get a jump rope, get a hula hoop, squat, walk up and down your stairs, turn your favorite music on. That's all you need to do is turn your favorite CD on and dance. Just and get dance. your heart rate up, dance for 15, 20 minutes, and you're going to get just what you would get in a regular aerobic class or on a treadmill uh -huh. or so whatever floats your boat, but it doesn't take much. All right, so I have to admit, the last time I hula hooped, um, I actually did it with uh, my photographer, Jeremy Johnson's, uh, his fiance, Kirsten Lane. She's actually a trainer. I know this looks really awkward right now, <laughs> but try doing with this with a microphone. But uh, here, why don't you talk us through. What, what are some things you say as I like, try to hula hoop with this uh, microphone pack on the back? Okay, you are powerful. You are great. You can do it. We are one. Of course, it was much better when uh, uh, trainer Kirsten Lane showed me all about it. But uh, but and you guys are great out here also. And so tell me, um, what can, what times can people see you down here at City Fest? We're going to be here at 11:30, 12:30, and at two. However, we're keeping our toys out on the park stage pretty much all day long. So even if we're not doing an actual demo for you, we're encouraging everybody to still play with our toys. I tell you, Julie Hecker is the only other person I will let uh, guide me through hula hooping. <laughs> But you guys have a great thing going on down here, and I wish you guys the best, and thank you so much for getting up early. Well, thank you, and come on down to City Fest because we will have a blast. There's us and much, much more. Right, and I just want to also say it's also really important for you guys because you guys really try to focus on Detroit music also, right? Right. At least a third of all of our music in class is Detroit music, local, original, unsigned bands. So we try to, and then we try to expose the community that way. Okay. You may not know what's going on. You'd be like, I love that band. I'm going to go down and see them. All right, sounds good. Okay, City Fest coming up uh, today starts at 11:30, runs until 8 p.m. tonight. And don't forget, today is the last day for City Fest. So come on down here and say hi to the ladies with Punk Fitness Detroit and grab a hula hoop. And uh, I would jump rope you guys, but hey, look, <coughs> this is my excuse right here. I have this attached to me. <laughs> <laughs> that could get real ugly real fast, so we're not going to do that, but I did a little hula hooping. Just take another one for the team, you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. She already went above and beyond guys. the calling right there with the hula hoop. Another first for Action News, Kimberly Craig and the hula hoop. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Now, the first would be you and the hula. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we won't be seeing that. We'll let Kim do this. We'll let Kim. Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is having some fun downtown this morning. She's been fun all morning long. Yes, we have. And today is the last day for City Fest, so really, you got to come on down here and really experience this. There is so much going on in the new center area here in downtown Detroit. And here to tell us about some of it is uh, Julie Coulombaris. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. All right, and she's with City Fest. And Julie, as we take a look at the folks who have joined behind us, here, tell us, this is such a great event for so many people to come on down here and really take part of. Absolutely. We changed our name in 2007 to City Fest to better 
reflect what this event has evolved to. Food is a major component. There's right. still 40 restaurants, but there's an outdoor shopping bazaar with 20 boutiques. There's a giant kids area. There's what we call visual wallpaper of street performers. There, there's a lot going on. And there's a lot for kids here also. I understand you guys have like oversized games. You've got putt-putt. Tell us about some of those things. Oh, absolutely. The kids area is sponsored in part by Meyer. They've helped us um, kind of blow it up this year. There's putt-putt golf. There's a rock climbing wall. They're, like you said, the giant oversized games, checkerboards, rope mazes, chutes and ladders. We also have a mural of the Fisher Building where we've left the windows blank for the kids to come in and give us their view of city life. All right, great. And I want everybody to see right now that you are actually looking at the guys that are called Hardcore Breaking Crew. And let me get, uh, let's see, S. Uno, why don't you move on up here for a second here. How you doing, S. Uno? Good, good. And, and let me ask you, first of all, tell everybody what you guys are going to be doing out here today. Going to be breakdancing on the street, you know what I'm saying, representing acrobatic flips, head spins, everything. Oh, that's awesome. And how long have you guys been doing this? Since 2001. All right, you guys are very good. All right, you guys keep on going and do what you do. And then I'm going to move on over here and show you that some of the other folks that you'll see out here. Hi, ladies. Whoa, it doesn't get any crazier than that, does it? This is Karen Neal, also known as Queen Bee. You're with Punk Fitness Detroit, and you guys are going to be out here over in what's called the park area. Yes. And tell us what you guys are going to be doing. Uh, we are going to be doing three Punk Fitness Detroit demos, um, one at 11.30, one at 12.30, and one at 3 p.m. That's awesome. And let me come back here to uh, Spike. And Spike, you guys, a lot of you are members of Motor City Ra Ra's also. Yeah. Tell us about that, and is that kind of why you guys all decided to get together here? Uh, the Motor City Ra Ra started out being for, excuse me, I'll take a breath. That's all right. It started out being the um, for cheerleaders for the Detroit Derby Girls. Okay. And then we just kind of branched out and started doing things with local bands. Um, we'll cheer for yeah. anything that is Detroit related there because we go. love Detroit. And tell us, uh, you guys are going to be out here. You guys are called Punk Fitness Detroit. Yes. And why do you guys love doing what you do for Punk Fitness Detroit? It's the best workout ever. Julie is so motivating and we love her. And it just makes you feel good about yourself. And I work out every day when I do Punk Fitness. I'm like, dad, oh, wow. <laughs> it's such a good workout. Well, I'm so glad this last live shot is over because now I can finally get my workout on. <laughs> So if Vic and Mary would just stop interrupting me, I could actually work up a sweat. <laughs> Kim, I just actually kidding, want to right? see you dance with uh, Tokyo, the guy in the yellow shirt. That's what I want to see. I, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are a few things that aren't going to happen Go this morning. Go to it. Come break on. Dancing with Tokyo and flamethrowing are not one of them. <laughs> yeah, well, now you need to exercise and work up an appetite because of all the great food down there. So much great food. And Mary, as a matter of fact, if you turn around here, just look at the row right here. Mary, I know you were down here on Friday. There is so much food down here. Whatever you want, whatever your taste, whatever your habits are down here, they've got something for you down here at City Fest. So come on down here. Today's the last day, 11.30 to 8 p.m. tonight. Back to you guys. Everything from sushi to sweet potato fries. Ooh, it is delightful. Nice. All right, thanks now again, Tom. We appreciate it.